Did you like Will Smith's I Am Legend and wish, hmm, if only there were a B-movie version of the Richard Matheson novel I Am Legend? Well, I've got some news for you. Bees! I Am Amigo, that starred Mark Dacascos. But if you want a second B-movie version of I Am Legend, then please enjoy Project Legion. And this one is directed and written by Lance Chorus and stars uh, Donald the Cowboy Carone as uh, Rourke are kind of our main character here. So this is a uh, unofficial movie uh, based on, I, I would assume I Am Legend, it's a very similar plot here, although it doesn't actually, it's a little bit different, so you know, you can't say it's the exact kind of copy here. And uh, what is the story? Well, we have this kind of prologue at the beginning of the movie where we see a team of military types go into some cursed graveyard where the last remnants of the uh, bubonic plague were buried to rescue some people and stuff inevitably goes wrong. Then we kind of cut to two months or later or so and uh, we see Rourke having a night out, goes back to his apartment 213, which I think was the original title of the movie, Apartment 213, and uh, you know, passes out drunk. But the next morning he wakes up and the world's gone to hell, literally, as the, it seems to be the death and destruction outside and a variety of demonic entities are wanting to get access to his apartment and he has to essentially fend them off, a la, you know, I am legend. Uh, what will happen? You'll have to watch the movie and find out. So, let us discuss what I think works in Project Legion. Don't worry, this will be a short list. But I would say two things that stood out to me that did work in this movie's favour. Number one, the demons themselves, the actual practical makeup is quite impressive. You know, uh, quite impressive to the max. The, the makeup actually looks very, very impressive. And they've gone for a interesting look for these demons who are kind of like, they're basically severely charred kind of humans that have, you know, sharp teeth and white and out eyes and things like that. But I've got to say, I quite like the, uh, the actual makeup here. It's very well done and looks pretty effective. They do plus it with kind of like smoke, the CGI smoke that kind of comes off and stuff, which, you know, is a little bit on the cheaper side, but I think it looks okay. But the, yeah, the demons here, I've got to be honest with you, are, are fairly impressive, and we see quite a lot of them. They try to kind of, you know, get them to do demony things, like kind of like twist their bodies and contort themselves and walk backwards and all that kind of stuff. But the makeup to me stood out as being pretty good and pretty effective for what is clearly a very, very low budget movie. The second thing I would say that kind of quite impressed me was the camera work in this film. And again, I'll, I'll emphasize this as a lower budget movie, but I've got to say it's fairly well shot. I mean, for, for a large portion of the movie, we are in Rourke's apartment. So there's not exactly a particularly exciting location, to be honest. Um, but they, there is some reasonable camera work here and kind of cinematography with things like the, the light kind of streaming in from uh, kind of outside and stuff like that. I actually thought it was filmed quite well to, to for a large part. I mean, you know, it, it's, it's, it's limited in what they can do with such a low budget. But yeah, I've got to say it was kind of filmed fairly well. There is a twist. It isn't the twist that's in the book, I Am Legend. And to be fair, there's not been an adaptation which has been a true reflection of that book. But there you go. Um, so let's talk about what doesn't work in this movie. Right, okay, so let's talk about um, Carone himself. Uh, this is his first leading role, and I'm sad to say that he is not a particularly strong actor. Maybe he needs to do some more supporting roles, first of all, some smaller roles. I mean, this is a lower budget film, so, you know, I guess he's a name to put on the poster and stuff, but yeah, he's not a particularly good actor. Um, and they, this movie, because it's largely him on his own, um, you know, he does occasionally kind of talk to other people, but a lot of it is sort of chatting to himself, and it's just not good. I mean, it, it seems like the, the dialogue may, may have been 80 yards in certain places, which doesn't help. 
Um, but yeah, the acting just isn't good. And he's, for a lot of the time, he's it's, it's just kind of talking to himself and there's extended sequences that seem to kind of go on forever and it's just left on him and it's, he just can't carry it. He has very little charisma that kind of comes through on, on, on camera, is all I have to say. He just kind of seems kind of like he doesn't know what he's doing there. He has been given little direction, perhaps. Um, but yeah, he's, you know, when a, cam when a, when a, when a character is, is, is the sole focus of your movie, uh, you need someone who can command the screen, who has good kind of like camera presence, good charisma, and can deliver lines well. And this is not the case with um, Mr. Corona. I think they would have been better probably getting a, you know, a professional actor who can maybe deliver uh, the lines and kind of carry the movie. Because that's ultimately what he's asked to do here. So I think it's probably a tough role uh, to, to be your first lead because he's not really acting against many other people. There's a few scenes where he is, but, you know, for the most part, he's asked to do it on, on his own. So the acting isn't good. The story is convoluted. Uh, the story is essentially the blueprint of uh, I Am Legend. There are these parts of it. Um, but we have this extra bits. We have this kind of military sequence at the beginning for the first 20 minutes. That was completely kind of convoluted. The twist is like, oh, yikes. Uh, I'll say that. And then we have the actual bulk of the film in and around this apartment, which is dull. Dull. I mean, the, the, the original novel of I Am Legend, in the day, you know, the characters kind of going out, trying to find out information, how to kind of do things, stock up. Here, we just see kind of him kind of like, you know, go around the loop, basically, kind of in, staying in his apartment. So it's kind of uh, pretty dull. So you've got convoluted and dull in the kind of the same movie with an actor who can't really carry a, a, a particularly kind of strong performance. So it ain't looking good. Uh... So there, there is some kind of CGI elements here. I think they would have been better off kind of maybe not using those. And because the practical makeup, to be fair, I think it does a strong job. There's a, a you know a couple of bits of CGI which I think kind of make it look super cheap. I would have just kind of gone with the practical, just to be honest with you. And you, you didn't need to do these extra kind of effects here and there. Story elements don't seem to make a lot of sense, as I've said. Um, pacing is kind of way off. It, it, it feels really kind of cheap and sort of somewhat directionless. Um, and as I said, the, the, the movie tries to have this kind of twist ending, this oh my god twist ending, and it's just like, yikes. Uh, yeah, this was a uh, tough old watch. Um, technical elements, I think, were, were reasonable. Um, that's basically the best I can kind of say about this movie. So, how to score it? I'm gonna have to give it a two out of ten the one well the the, the, the minor points it's for those two things i've mentioned but it was just a tough watch it was a tough watch all round uh yeah two out of ten you're better off watching the mark de cascos I, uh, I am amiga which was an asylum movie which is hella better than this one two out of ten have you seen it what did you think of it leave me a comment and i'll look forward to seeing you next time